Hi everybody, today I will show you how to create custom slider in Elementor. So let's just begin. Okay, so first of all, what we need to do, we have to go inside the plugin and click on the add new. And from here, we have to install both of these plugins. Okay, so first of all, let's just install slider anything. All right, so as you can see that we have slide anything here. So we have to install this plugin. Okay, so let's click on install. Now let's just click on the activate. All right, so we have activated slide anything plugin here. So now what we need to do, we have to install anywhere Elementor. Let's just search for anywhere Elementor here. So as we can see here that we have anywhere Elementor plugin at the top of the search. So we have to install this. Now we have to click on the activate. All right, so first of all, now what we need to do, we have to go inside anywhere Elementor here and click on the templates here. And from here, we have to create the two templates. Then we will use those templates in the slider. Okay, so let's click on the add new. Click on the add new again. All right. Let's just write down slider one. I just go inside another file here. So, so this would be slider two. Click on the edit with Elementor. Let's go back to another template. Click on the edit with Elementor here again. All right. All right, so both of the sliders are open in the Elementor editor. Okay, so as you can see here, we have the slider one and we also have the slider two. Okay, so now let's just edit the slider one here. So first of all, I would actually go inside the settings here. And from here, I have to change the page layout because I don't want the header and the footer. So let's click on the Elementor canvas. All right, so we have changed the layout of the page. So let's just design our slider here. Okay. So first of all, I will actually click on the container and this would be the two column structure. All right. So now in the first column, I would actually write down the heading and I would also add paragraph here. All right. And in the second column, I would actually like to have the image here. Okay. So let's click on the choose image. And from here, we will simply select the image. So let's try to use this image here click on the select all right so now here you can simply add the heading whatever heading you want to add so i will simply just write down landscape one and here we have some dummy text okay so that is it now what i need to do i have to add the background color to our container so that would be click on the style click on the classic here and select the color from here okay Okay, so I think I will simply go here with the black color. Okay, so I have to change the color of the text. So that would be the white color. And I just try to change the color of the paragraph. So that would be a kind of grayish color. Okay, so that is looking better. And we can add the margin and the padding here to our container. Let's try to add the padding. I'll link the values first. And here I would actually like to add 80 px from the top and 80 px from the bottom okay so this is looking better or we can decrease the value here to the 60 px all right so this is looking fine now all right so this is the design that we will be using in the slider okay so let's just copy this and let's just go to our slider two. And I will simply paste our design of the slider one here. Okay, so let's click on the paste. And here you will be able to see the design. So you can simply change the text here. So this would be landscape 2. And here, let's just change the picture here. Okay, so I think I would go with this picture. Click on the select. All right, so I think I have to change the image of the slider one. Okay, so let's just put this into the center first. All right. Now I have to click on the edit container here and here I have to click on the center. Now you can see this, our text is into the center. Now let's just go back to our slider one and just change 
the image here that could match the aspect ratio of the image of the slider too okay so i think we can go with this one click on the select not really i think i should go with this one maybe okay so this is looking better so this is kind of matching the aspect ratio of the image of our slider slide 2 okay so now this is looking fine now what i need to do i have to put the text into the center that is really easy now let's click on the publish and i have to click on the publish on the slider 2 as well all right so now let's just go back here refresh the page okay so now you will be able to see here that we have the two templates here slider 1 and the slider 2 so we have created the two design that we can use in our slider so how can we use this that is really easy let's just go inside the slider here click on the essay slider and here you can see this we have the sample slider okay so now let's just click on the edit here and here what you need to do you have to set the settings but you have to keep the things in the mind that you don't really mess up the values here okay so i would actually disable the auto height and i would allow the short course okay so that is fine and you can see that we have the slide duration of four seconds and slide transition is about 0.3 seconds and we slide by a single slide okay so in the corner on the right side you can see that we can display the item based on the device or the browser okay okay so for the desktop screen i have set a single item here and the similar way you can set the item for the tablet and the mobile landscape as well so i'll simply keep the value to the one because i want to show a single image on a single slider okay so let's just update this all right now what you need to do uh, we have to look into the slider style okay so we have to make the padding uh, zero and we also have to make the border style and the border radius zero as well okay so if you want your slider to cover all the space you know that you don't want to have any border or any border radius so you have to keep the values to the zero and after that we have the main height so that would be in the percentage so i have set the value to the 30 you can increase or decrease the value according to your slider so that is totally depends on the kind of slider that you are creating and after that you have to check on the dom content loaded event okay so that is it for now now what we need to do we actually have to insert the short code of our sliders okay so let's just remove this and let's just click on the all templates here copy the short code from here go back to our slider paste the short code and in the similar way let's just click on the slide to here and we have to remove this first let's just go back to our template here copy this and go back paste the value here of the short code okay but if you want to add more than two slides you simply click on the add slide here and this would actually create a new slide here okay so that is it now what we need to do we have to click on the update all right so now let's have a look at our website okay so this is our website and now we will learn that how can we add the slider in our website so let's click on the edit with elementor now and we will be redirected into the elementor editor all right so now as you can see that we are inside the elementor editor so now let's just try to add our slider here okay so i would actually like to add the slider here so let's click on the add section and click on the add container so this would be the single column structure and from here i have to write down short code here okay so let's just drag this and put this here and here what i need to do i have to add the short code okay so let's go back to our sample slider and from here we can simply copy our short code of our slider go back to the form paste the value here now let's just click on the apply okay so now here what i need to do i have to change the width of our container so that would be actually full width now click on the update and let's just preview the changes all right so let's just refresh the page and now you will be able to see our slider here all right so now you can see this 
we have our slider here and we have the landscape one and we have the landscape two all right so this is how you can create the custom slider in elementor so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel